बसमिल रहीम आज मैं आप लोगों को डेमो दूंगा कि हाउ एक्चुअली यूज़ वेक्टर नेटवर्क एनालाइज़र अगर आप देखें तो दिस वेक्टर नेटवर्क एनालाइज़र दर आई हैव इज रोड्स एंड शॉर्ट जेड एंड डी वेक्टर नेटवर्क एनालाइज़र दिस थिंग हैज़ अ फ्रीकुनसी रेंज फ्राम आई थिंक हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट्स ऑल द वे अप टू एट पॉइंट फाइव किलो गिगा तो बेसिक सेटअप इज दिस के आई हैव मल्टीपल एंटेनर्स मल्टीपल पैच एंटेनर्स एंड और गन लर्न हाउ टू एक्चुअली मेजर एस वन वन ऑफ दीज एंटेनर्स एंड और गना ट्राई टू सी कि हम इसका मैग्नीट्यूड कैसे मेजर करते हैं और हाउ डू आई फाइंड द रेजिडेंस फ्रीकुनसी ऑफ माई एंटेनर्स सो लेस हैव माई सो हेयर्स आर सेटअप इस टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क एनालाइजर वी हैव पोर्ट वन uh port 1 then we have port 2 uh n type connector on one end and then we have a uh, uh, mail sma connector on the other hand same thing i have both of these ports connected lekin mujhe zarurat nahi hai kyunki our antennas are normally single port antennas so the way i'm going to do i'm going to connect these acha before i do that you would see it says right here s11 Right here it says S11. So we're going to look at S11 measurements. Um, uh, I haven't. Uh, so basically, when you see a graph like this, is can the graph be seen? So on your horizontal axis you have a frequency. On your vertical axis you have scales in terms of dBs. So this line is almost very flat. Almost very pl flat. I haven't calibrated this, but I'll consider that this line is at zero dB right now. So when I uh, put my antenna. on it and then i will see ke what is the magnitude graph and things like that so give me a minute so port 1 i'm actually putting my antenna on now and we will see ke what are the resonance component of this antenna so i'm just simply plugging in screwing my antenna in just give me a minute Okay. Let's look at this antenna first. So this antenna is actually this antenna right here. So so let's let's look at this. So what is the S parameter of this particular antenna? It's a very bad antenna design. Um it's a circular antenna. If I were to move my marker so I'll simply go to my a marker here and marker 1 i'm just going to simply select this and i'm going to move this let's just uh, i can move it all markers off all markers off let's put marker 1 And let's move this around. So as you can see, when I move this around, this antenna is very poorly designed because the resonance I'm getting a single resonance component at two point seven nine, two point seven nine, and I'm getting negative eight point two five dB, which is very bad, which is very very bad. So at two point seven nine gigahertz, this the uh, S one one. or uh, uh, reflex uh, uh, return loss is around negative 8.2 db uh, the rule of thumb is when you're checking these devices you have to make sure ke your antenna uh, should have negative less than negative 10 db so whatever the resonance frequency is uh, if you're getting a return loss of negative 10 db that is uh, that is considered to be good good resonance which means uh, there is hardly any reflection uh, any reflection due to mismatch in impedance um uh, is happening um uh, so in, uh, so anything uh, less than negative 10 db negative 20 negative 30 or anything less than 10 is good negative 10 is considered to be a st uh, industry standard uh, so that's why uh next we're going to use this antenna we're going to plug uh, our antennas this antenna we will see the resonance component of this antenna so the first antenna which is your circular patch is very bad in terms of a design it's not properly match which was this antenna 
very bad as you can see the soldering is quite bad so the next antenna that I'm plugging in is this guy so as soon as I plug in let's see so wow so with respect to these spikes I am seeing a couple of resonance frequencies so if I move my marker like this so based on these peaks that you see here I am judging that this is the resonance frequency of this antenna so right now if I were to go over here so this antenna is uh, resonating at 2.13 gigahertz and uh, with return loss of negative 9.61 so let's introduce another marker so let's introduce another marker uh, marker 2 marker 2 and let's move this marker around we have another frequency at around this uh, this is somewhere around as you can see marker 2 2.615 and negative 8 dB this is also not very good let's put another marker marker 3 let's close this uh, let's move our marker marker number 3 and let's move so this is quite nice this is operating so this this antenna is radiating at about 2.84 gigahertz plus with negative 21.3 db so which is good which is very very good so that's a very good resonance let's call in one more marker uh, let's get marker number four and let's move this marker I'm using my knob to move this so I have another resonance right here so this is quite nice this has a good bandwidth so this thing is radiating uh, resonating at about 4.29 as you can see 4.29 dB uh, gigahertz and negative 114 dB this is what you're seeing with respect to its resonance and return loss and then I am also seeing another peak right over here at the very end so right here at very end right here this is also I'm seeing a peak um, so I can also see K let's call in another marker and let's call that marker number five and let's close this and let's move this marker 5 over here okay marker 5 right now it reads at about uh, 4.71 db uh, 4.74 uh, gigahertz and negative uh, 12 db that's the return loss so I would say that this antenna is radiating at three different points with a good return loss which means a perfect impedance matched is at M3 which is 2.8 then M4 which is 4.29 and M5 which is 4.7 so at these three frequencies this antenna will perform good um, so this is how basically you check antennas uh, using your vector network analyzer so I hope you like this tutorial.